Hi everybody, it's Anbonani. Welcome to Reality Buzz TV where we talk about all things reality TV shows and all things reality TV show stars. So we're going to talk about what's on the next time you guys, the recent episode, which was episode 16. And we're going to talk about the situation Campo Melelo because in this episode, they do talk about uh, the plans for Campo Melelo Uyolo Bola. So finally, uh, he is going to be hey, Lobo. I don't know why I'm saying finally because honestly, I don't think that he's ready. I don't think Umpumelelo um, Mselego um, um, is ready to marry any woman, okay? Because no woman deserves to be put in that misery, okay? <laughs> Nobody deserves it, okay? So they're making plans. There's uncles there, okay? That look like Angas. Because I guess at Bona, but because we've never seen anybody from the Selegu family. So it just looks like random people, maybe friends, maybe uncles from his mother's side. I don't know, you guys, who those guys are. One of the guys looked like one of the guys that was on Umnagwetu in one season. So I don't know. So these guys, I guess they're going to be helping him uh, to go and pay Lobola. I don't know why he's only talking about it, Lobola, because. He still needs to travel the girls, okay? So sometimes again, they can trick the family, and the family can be so excited about Ilobola that they forget about the fact that at Tlauliwe, and then they just move on with Ilobola because Bafuni and Zabushat. But I don't know what parent would be okay with that situation. So now, you guys, uh, they get to talk about the fact that he says that, you know, I have three P, uh, three. So you're going to take three journeys, meaning that there are three wives eventually, okay? And the thing about this conversation, I would have liked to see um, 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 Pumelelo lead the conversation more, even though I know very really it's ridiculousness because I don't think he's ready. But I wanted him to lead the conversation more. I feel like Umselelo wants to influence what happens so much. He could have just let Pumelelo have that conversation with the guys, and so that we can see and maybe be convinced that we are Funa Velu, we are no Funa Kano, it's not the push from his dad. And even he even had to sit in in the data session because Pumelelo would be wanting to say something else and he's pushing him to say something else. And I feel like he pushes him to say something that will disrespect the, the two uh, baby mamas. I, I'm not understanding it. I feel like uh, Musam Selig is doing such a disservice to Umpumelelo. And I don't think that a lot of people see that, you know. And the people that will pay for that, are, and the people that are going to marry him, he is doing such a disservice to Umpumelelo because he is basically saying that it's okay to disregard the feelings of the person that you are claiming to love. Whoever that you're going to make your partner, it's okay to disregard their feelings, okay, or their thoughts or, or whatever, you know, their contribution uh, in terms of what they're thinking, what they're feeling, all of that does not matter. It, that is a disservice. If you're raising a boy and you are teaching him it's okay to disregard and disrespect a woman and you're not going to live very long, they will be left in this world to deal with that and act like that while you're no longer around, likely, because mostly you die before your kids unless, okay, it happens sometimes, but, you know, I think that it, it is a disservice to Mpumelelo. And he's not going to see that until it's really too late. It's going to take time for him to learn. That is not okay because these young girls now uh, understand that, that, that that's not acceptable. But except to get these ones that want to be on TV, maybe. So, you guys, now he says there's three journeys. So, I guess the virgin situation is still on here. But here is the reason why Mpumelelo wants to marry a virgin first, you guys. Okay, it's not about the fact that Okay, it's not about that. It is about the fact that the girl is a virgin. Because you know why? If this girl is a virgin, and there is a possibility that this girl has said, I'm not going to have sex with you until we get married. And Upumelelo felt that, you know what? If that is going to take too long. If I marry Uvuyo and then marry Ulo, because I have to pay Lobola, I have to Shaula, pay Lobola, we get married. Then it's the next one, Tirel. Shaula, pay Lobolo, get married. 
excuse me, it's going to take time before I am able to take her virginity. So the only reason Upumelelo wants to marry a virgin, if the, st the storyline is true, is because he wants to have sex with that girl as soon as possible. He's rushing for that. That's the only reason, you guys. Even him rushing Gutakano, that's, that's the reason. That's the reason. If that virgin thinks that she is special, you know, no, she, he just wants to take that from you and then he's going to move on to the others. Okay. If Umpumelelo pays Ilobolo for the virgin and then he meets another virgin after he has taken this one's virginity, he's probably going to want that one too. You know? And then he's going to say to Uvuyo to Nutirolo, no, no, I want to number two to be two virgins. You know, there must be two virgins. Then he's going to marry. That's the only reason. I hope because whoever that virgin girl is understands that the reason they are marrying you first is not because they love you the most. Mm -mm. It's because they want your virginity. They want to break your virginity as soon as possible. They are rushing to break your virginity. After that, you are just going to be like everybody else. Okay? Okay? So, I could feel that even these guys that they called here for to talk to them because I guess they were they are going to be the negotiators. Ibaba calling him. Maybe no confusion at all. They're trying to follow the story. They're not really following a story. It even became worse when Umselego came around because I felt like with the they were still asking him questions so they can understand. Because okay, so you are saying Sizoya Lasela and then what what you know? Now you guys, this is a thing. I feel like. It's almost like they, they are enjoying the fact that what they are doing is going to upset of you guys is not real. I hope that they're watching the show, you guys. I hope they're watching the show because I feel like they, it's almost like they enjoy the fact that they, they're going to make them upset by paying Lobola for the virgin, okay? And also, Umpumelelo says, Guti, when Umpumelelo, remember he had a number one girlfriend, okay? We're just saying number one for the sake of, you know, us understanding what, who we're talking about. Uno Pumelelo was the girlfriend that Pumelelo had before Vuyo, who was supposed to be Mamkulu. And then they broke up the girl. Ingondo Yabuya, into Bazanin, you know. Ingondo Yabuya, Gumtuana, what am I doing here? 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 Then Uvuyo was left, and then Uvuyo assumed Uguti now she's going to be Mamkul. But he says Uguti, it was never like that. He never said Uguti Uvuyo Uye Umamkul. Uye was Asumela that position, and also when she assumed that position, she also changed. She changed the way that she was behaving. Now my question is, you are going to get that virgin, guys. You know the most the most difficult thing about marrying a virgin is that your whole entire life you are going to hear about how you broke their virginity when you marry somebody that is a virgin everything that you do that you're going to hear about it you you are going to pay your whole life they're going to be talking about how bona they were virgin you're going to hear about it even that virgin is going to change after you take her virginity and she sees how now you are busy with the other. She is going to change because nobody is going to remain the same at behavior when they're not being treated right. But that's what he says happened with Uvuya. Is that she stopped behaving or she started misbehaving, whatever that means, guys. I really feel like Umpumelelo doesn't like. Uvuyo. And I say like you guys because I don't even think that he knows what love is. I think he gets uh, attracted to girls because girls are beautiful and all the girls want him and then he just chooses which I want this one and this one. But I don't think I don't think Pumelo knows what being in love is like. That The way that he answered that question last week I was like so I say that I don't think that at this point he, he likes Uvuyo that much. So if I was Vuyo I really just would like you know when they say count your losses, like count your losses, like we're not going to see you. We're not going to see you. I'm not going to see you. 
<laughs> guys if you guys a little situation where you like you know what my heart beg your heart say it's my heart we are going to manage we are going to manage this is not it we deserve me and you we deserve better you know we deserve better we really want to be here we really want to be here but this is not a place for us we deserve better and we are going to go out there and find it and the height is going to hurt and you're going to be down i know it's hard but we are walking out and then if she loves herself she's going to do that for herself because i don't think will even like her at this point i don't think that he has said one positive thing about her this time, I even feel like he might he might even like Utirolo more than he likes because even with Pumela, I don't even feel like he's in love because the way that he talks about them, I haven't seen where he is talking about them and I feel like oh he really loves this girl. It's like yeah he likes them, you know. So I was just thinking my little see and be like listen it's time to me and you me and you heart let's be out. Trust me, is on your new business. He logi, he logi twenty guys. He, he, he plung, he plung, he plung, he plung, he plung, he plung, and then he plung. The pain will just, and then one day you look at the person and be like, you know, like so. What was that? Hey, what was I doing? You know. But yes, you guys, the virgin situation. I figured out because you know what? This is why this boy is rushing to marry the virgin. He just wants to have sex with the virgin. After that, he will be off living his life okay anyway you guys thank you so much for watching this video please like it before you make your share it with your friends with your family and even with strangers in it's hand cool